49ers and Rams and the NFC West showdown commences in the conference championship game. Rams are three and a half point favorite at home, but this 49ers team beat the Rams not once, but twice in the regular season, 31 to 10 and uh, in week 10, that was on November the 15th and then 27 to 24 in week 18, final week of the season. So the Rams could have left the 49ers for dead if they would have put their foot all the way on the gas and here the 49ers are yet again. If they had, they've got to beat the Rams three times in a season, though, Ike. And I know you mentioned it earlier, but to me, it's like who better to talk to than a player who's had to do that before in his career, not once but twice in the 05 season. Well, the 05 season, you played the Bengals three times and then you won in the rubber match in the playoffs. But in the 08 Super Bowl run, you beat the Ravens three times in a season, just the difficulty of doing that. Uh, that to me, it's going to be key, but the 49ers, the way they play is more of a smash mouth style, which I think the Rams are a little bit more finesse under Sean McVay and company. But what, what do you think about this matchup, Mike? 49ers and Rams, I'm going to turn them, I'm going to leave it open-ended. The floor is yours. DeMarco Ryan, me, please. And that's the defense coordinator for the 49ers. That's who's been causing all this goddamn habit. <laughs> Young defense coordinator coming up with a game plan, whether you're Sean McVay and company and Matthew Stafford, or whether you're Matt LaFleur and company or Aaron Rodgers. DeMarco Ryan me, please, because I got this defense playing to my liking and that smash mouth football, like you were saying. So, yeah, ain't nobody so far. Ain't nobody so far. I don't, I don't, care, who, I don't care who the OC is. I don't care who the quarterback is. Have an answer for this young rising defensive coordinator and DeMarco Ryan. He has this, he has the 49ers defense playing lights out. So just take coach Kyle Shanahan and this is no disrespect to coach Kyle Shanahan and what he can do on the offensive side and how he can generate his points and how he can score in the ways he can score. DeMarco Ryan me, please. He's the key to the success in 2022-21. I love the shout out, Ike, and he's going to have his work cut out from him considering shutting down Cooper Cup is priority number one, number two, and number three. And the reason I say this, Cooper Cup, the triple crown winner in the regular season, the first receiver in NFL history, regular season and postseason combined, who has surpassed 2,000 yards receiving. And that includes some great receivers, including Larry Fitzgerald during his Super Bowl run against your Pittsburgh Steelers, includes Jerry Rice, the most yards ever a receiver has had regular season, postseason. To me, he's where the, the Rams offense starts. He's where they go to. You've got to figure out a way to slow him down. That's going to be the key for DeMarco Ryan as the DC of the 49ers in this game. Yeah, is is DeMarco DeMarco going to play Cooper. Wherever Cooper at, they know where the play is going, whether it's running or passing. And they're going to play They're gonna play highly off of the percentages. I guarantee you, wherever he is, because that's, that's the head catalyst for that offense. Where's Cooper Cup? Okay, this is where this play is going. If this play is not a run play and this play, play becomes a pass play, we're going to beat him to the spot before he gets there. Yeah, Ron T. They're going to play percentages. Coach, me, the D.C., DeMarco Ryan will be playing percentages because they know Coach Sean McVay likes to do certain things with Cooper Cup, and they're going to already be sitting in the spot to where he's going to be. Watch what I tell you. Two picks by the 49ers defense. Get wrong. I, I have a theory for you. I heard this on another podcast. I know Jimmy G takes his lumps, just how he's perceived. He is the ultimate winner. We're going to be talking about him going and leading the Niners to a second Super Bowl title. And you say leading, maybe, you know, taking the 49ers. The Niners might be winning in spite of him. But in some ways, the analogy I've heard with Jimmy Garoppolo is that he is like the modern day version of Eli Manning, where like during the regular season, very middle of the road, but he transforms into a guy where he just keeps winning in the postseason. And the 49ers after the season are going to have an interesting decision to make because it's like short of winning a Super Bowl, you could maybe trade Jimmy G and ask for the Kings ransom back, roll with Trey Lance in the 2022 season. But 
if, if he's the quarterback of a team that's made the Super Bowl in what two out of three seasons, like how many other teams would love to be in that same situation? So they've got a bit of a dilemma. But the analogy I heard with Jimmy G is that he's a little bit like Eli Manning, where kind of middle of the road during the regular season, but when in the postseason it counts and you've got to win football games, they happen to win games time after time after time after time. Yeah, you get one more year. You know, you, you get past you get past the LA Rams, you give them one year. You put them on a one year deal. Mm-hmm. That's exactly. But I, I just listened to what you know Kittles was saying about him. Kittles, his tight end was like, man, y'all be talking about our quarterback, but we love him. Up, oh, light switch went off in my head. <laughs> okay. So his team, his 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 teammates, his teammates hearing the noise and hearing what we say as media guys about Jimmy G. Mm-hmm. Cal Shanahan, when Jimmy G isn't the starting quarterback, he has a losing record. Cal Shanahan, when Jimmy G is the starting quarterback, you're going back to the, possibly you get opportunity to go back to the Super Bowl mm-hmm. in three years, so two out of three. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, as much as you don't like everybody's not the, they ain't about to beat Tom Brady. You, you, it's hard to find a Tom Brady because I can't even put Aaron Rodgers in that situation. I, I can't even put a Drew Brees in that situation. And I'm talking about Hall of Famers. Tom's just been there 10 times in one seven. You know, we look at everybody else, they only been there once. That's how hard it is. Aaron only been there one time. Drew Brees only been there one time. You know, um, for the defense of the Mannings, you know, Peyton Manning, he been there a few times, but they had a hell of a defense when he went to to the to the uh, Denver Broncos. When, when he went his second, yep, yep. And you, and you, and you know, Eli, you know, Eli, he be hibernating during the regular season. <laughs> but don't wake his ass up during the postseason. He going to just, just, just ask Tom Brady. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we, we shall, we shall see. But Jimmy Garoppolo, man, his record speaks for itself. You might not like the way he wins, but he's a winner. Mm-hmm. That, that's, that's just what it is. So a lot of teams will love his scenario. I'm sure the Dallas Cowboys will love Jimmy G scenario too soon Ike. too soon so um that's 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 just how it is but i mean since you're gonna ask me well in so many words i'm gonna rock my other underdogs i got the 49ers beating the la rams man i i want see to me the rams have it's like on paper they have so much talent and i want to take them what do but, your, I, you 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 destroyed me in picks last week? I'm rocking with Ike Taylor. You've convinced me. I'm going to take the 49ers in this game as well your, I, as the what, underdog. What's your eye test say? Like take 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 paper off. What 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 do you see when you're watching the game? Like take the stats out. Yeah. What what do you see? Do you I, see do you see the 49ers or the LA Rams winning? It, to me, I mean, I know we always say it's a line of scrimmage game, and I right. see who dominates the line of scrimmage. So I'm talking the Aaron Donalds, the Von Miller, the Von Millers, the Leonard Floyds from the Rams standpoint. But I look at the 49ers led by Bosa and company, and they do the same thing, Ike, where it's they like they do the same thing. So it's the, like they do the same thing. I, I'm going to pick the 49ers. I'm going to pick the 49ers as underdogs. I, I'm going to rock with you for the NFC.